Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a duplicate ad set in your Facebook ads. And I can imagine that that sounds really jargony and it would be helpful for me to explain why you would want to do that first of all. So this ad is, uh, this ad, this video is for people who have been running ads. So you know the basics, which campaign type to choose, um, you know how to choose your audience and their age and their interests. You know how to set your budget and you know how to create your ad, the image and the words or the video and the words. And So uh, this is all based on the assumption that you know all of that. And if you don't know all of that, I do have a really easy to follow Facebook ads course. You can find it on my website. It's called Facebook Ads Simplified. And so this is a little bit of an advanced move, but... I think once you've nailed all the rest, you're going to want to be doing this as soon as you possibly can. And so when you have made your ad, then you can go back in and you can, you can duplicate your ad set. Now, the reason you would do that is say you've chosen women of a certain age group who are interested in Hay House for whatever reason you've decided that that's your audience. But you don't really know if, if you're at the beginning of running ads, you may not know if that audience is going to be the best one. And I encourage you to have an experimental mindset in the beginning and um, be trying out different things. If you haven't done any ads before, you're not really going to have data on your audience. So you're not going to know what their characteristics are and what they respond to. So you're going to need to have some different ads to different interests, different ages, and just start testing the water. So once you've got that first ad going, we'll go in and make a second one to it's slightly different. So with the ad set, you might only differ um, one thing. I suggest that you have a very simple ad and then if you want to reach people who like vegetarianism, they like spirituality, they like yoga, they like healthy living, don't put all those interests into one ad. That's a big mistake I see lots of people make. The trick is to make one ad to people who like yoga, another ad to people who like veganism, another ad to people who like spirituality and then run the ad and see which of those interests is responding the most to your ad, giving you the cheapest cost per click or cost per result. And then you can go, if one of those audiences, say vegans are like clicking heat and the cost per click is about 17 cents or something, which is really cheap um, for a click through ad. And then there's another ad that um, either isn't getting clicks or they're quite expensive, like over a dollar fifty per click. Um, you can go and then switch them on and off. So it's great to run an ad, like a campaign that has four or five different ad sets inside it. And then you can go and switch off the ones that aren't performing very well after a couple of days and you'll know, okay, that audience didn't work so well for us. And you, it might not be a couple of days. If you've got enough budget, you might leave your ad to run for quite a while, a week or something, and let it just see who's responding well. If you've got more ads budget, then you can spend more on different people and a little bit of higher cost per click is not going to freak you out so much. But if you are on a more lean budget, then you would just leave it a couple of days because you don't really want to be paying, you know, five or ten dollars a day on an ad that isn't really getting you any clicks or that you could be putting that money into another ad set, another audience type that is responding a lot better. And sorry about the light today. It's, it's almost solstice here today. So I'm either like uh, in the full sun or I'm just peeping out the side here, but you don't need to see my face so much longer. I'm going to share the screen now and I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to kind of step through it. Um, from this, this is your homepage. Normally you have your feed here. I have this thing called Newsfeed Eradicated because it's my work and if I get distracted, I waste time. Uh, so I don't have a feed. But this is your normal home spot. And then over here there's this drop down and this is how I love to access ads if I can. I click Manage Ads and most of my ads people are here that I help. So let's go to this ad account, my own ad account. And now we're looking at the newer view of Facebook. So, um, you know, there was, it looks different before and they've updated it, but the functionality is still pretty much the same. It's not a huge deal. So I have this ad that I ran. I, I'm not going to switch it on or anything because 
I'm not running this anymore. I'm going to use this as my demonstration. So once you've got your ad going, the, you know, this should be ticked over and it's probably blue and it's going to say, yes, it's active, right? So that's once you've set your ad in motion and you go and do other things, you get to your inbox, it says your ad is approved and then you come and have a look. Awesome, my ad's approved. You also can do this before your ad is approved. Um, once you've set your ad up, it just may not say active. It may say in review, right? So then if we click this little drop down here, it shows us our ad sets. And if we click that drop down again, it shows us the ad. So this is the hierarchy, the campaign, the ad sets and the ads. Hopefully you're a bit used to that. Now, um, this is our one first ad set here. It's up for bigger people. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. So we just click duplicate. And then we just, you can, you do it inside the original campaign. And if you want, you can actually go poof, all right, I'm going to make four different ad sets right now. So I'm delivering to four. I'm going to add three new ad sets and I'm going to just duplicate them inside the existing campaign. I'm probably going too fast. You may want to pause me. You know what I'm like? I'm a little hyperactive chipmunk. Now, the best way to look at this is to click this and close it out and then we'll see. We've got the campaign and then we've got our original ad and we've got these three. Now, I like to go through and rename them straight away. So I'm going to have, this is going to be bigger. I'm going to run this one to women who like dance. Okay, save to draft. And then this one is going to be called bigger. This is going to be called men who like guitars because this was an ad for an event. And this one is going to be, um, I'm going to call this youth and I'm going to make this ad say for young people, I'm going to call it male and female, um, 18 to 25. I'm going to try and target some younger people and I'm going to leave my original ad. No, I don't even remember what the targeting was on that, but we'll see in a minute when I go into this. So then once you've duplicated them and you've got all your ad sets, you just go in and edit each one. So I use this button here, edit. And so this is women who like dance in Vega. So we would check our budget, make sure that your budget's right. This one had a start date and finish date, but I recommend that you actually um, have your ads ongoing. Now, we had just everyone in the bigger area. That was our whole targeting at first. So we're going to change this. We're going to make it just women and we want older women. We're not doing youth. So this would be 25 to 65 who like dancing. And let's see what comes up. <laughs> let's just go with dance. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So that's that one. And everything else stays the same and the ad itself can stay the same because I'll run another, I'll create another video for you guys showing you how to duplicate the ad, that actual ad. So that's that first one. Oh, what went wrong? Okay, that's still working. Okay, so women, let's, just, let's close this. Bigger women dance is going, our big is going. So it's just like, I mean, I don't really need to keep going, but that's the basic principle. You just go in, and you make this one slightly different, but you just change one thing really. Like you don't want to muck around too much and try to go men who like guitars, who like Arabic music, who like, you know, you just want to choose one thing. <clears throat> Guitar, that'll do. Um, that's fine, just ignore that warning. And then you just, again, just go through and off. Off we go. I think my mic is mucking around. Um, okay, so that is basically it. Once you've got them all set up, it will, from the campaign level, well, let's close this. Let's just get out of here and look at it. So this is the ad. Still looks the same when we look at it from the campaign level, but when we click that and drop down, we can see now we have multiple ad sets. I don't know where our bigger men went. Um, there's one over here. What's he doing? Bigger men. Oh, it's there. Anyway, you can look at it from the campaign level and use the drop down. But I don't know why the men aren't displaying there. You can also click on ad sets and then you'll see all your ad sets. And that's basically all there is to it. It's not very hard. The trick is to know your audience quite well 
or be willing to get to know your audience and have just a little bit of a hunch. Like one of my recent clients said their people are at the beginning of their spiritual journey. So we, I chose Hay House. Um, you know, there'd be other good examples like Oprah as an interest is always a good one. It just narrows it down into people who are interested in growth and consciousness and people who aren't. I can't think of many people who wouldn't like Oprah. Um, I'm always on about her. But that's about it. That's how you duplicate your ad set. I don't want to go on too much. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, if you don't know what this is all about, then check out the Facebook ad simplified. Have a great day. See you soon.